So if we want to increase incretins without taking Ozempic, how can we do it? First, you can try eating more dietary fat. The incretins may play a big role in that. Several studies have shown, for example this one, that uh, if you take carbohydrates as opposed to dietary fat, then the increase in the incretins is much lower. In this study, for example, they looked at soup and they uh, paired it either with 50 grams of carbohydrates or butter or olive oil, and they measured how high the GLP-1 uh, spiked afterwards, and they also looked at GIP. Um, but you can see that both types of dietary fat really raise the incretins much higher, the GLP-1. A very similar study in 2007 showed that if you replace carbohydrates with fat, you get the same expected decrease in insulin, which is good because insulin drives uh, the storage of fat, but you also get this higher level of GLP-1. The second way, eat more protein. And again, it's already well known that eating higher protein leads to greater satiety. For example, if you eat a steak versus if you eat uh, cookies or drink pop, for example, you know you feel more full. This study in 2006 looked at uh, the effect of a 30% protein diet versus a 10% protein diet, which conforms to the recommended daily allowance or RDA guidelines. So it's not a low protein diet, it's an adequate protein diet. But you can see that the lower protein diet led to greater hunger, and this may be related to the GLP effect. The higher protein leads to higher GLP, which leads to less hunger because that's the effect, that's a satiety hormone. And different types of proteins may have different GLP effects as well. So branch chain amino acids, such as found in dairy, may actually have a higher GLP effect. So that's why eating more of those may be very beneficial. Number three, eat more fiber. A lot of carbohydrates that are unprocessed come with a lot of fiber. This is a type of resistant starch, and you might want to check my previous video on resistant starches and the five different types. But fiber is one of those types, and it doesn't get digested or absorbed. So this fiber reaches the colon, and where there it gets fermented by the gut microbiome to short-chain fatty acids, or SCFA, and these are things like acetate, butyrate, propionate. And these interact with free fatty acid receptors two and three to boost GLP secretion. So again, if you eat more fiber, you're getting a bit of a double whammy effect. That is the fiber is gonna be bulkier. So therefore it's gonna increase those stretch receptors in the stomach. It's harder for the fiber to go through. It doesn't go through as quickly, for example, as white flour, which is gonna go directly through the small intestine, directly into the bloodstream, shoot up that glucose. The fiber's bigger, it's uh, bulkier, it's harder to move physically, so it's gonna slow things right down, and then it's gonna increase the tidy by the time it gets to the colon. Number four, try bitter foods. Bitter foods are very interesting because we have bitter taste receptors on our tongue. And you'd think that people would naturally avoid these bitter foods, but there's a lot of people who really love bitter melon and bitter gourd, for example. They're very traditional foods, and in fact, a lot of people use them in traditional medicine for the treatment of type 2 diabetes. And it turns out that these bitter taste receptors may activate incretins. Uh, this study, for example, in bitter gourd, found not only a profound blood glucose lowering effect, but also significantly raises GLP, which may be responsible for this anti-glycemic effect. And of course, that's exactly how Ozempic works for the treatment of type 2 diabetes as well, and the bitter foods may be doing the same thing. Number five, curcumin. So this is found in turmeric and found in many curries. And again, it's very used traditionally for the treatment of type two diabetes, but turns out that this uh, spice also has a very significant GLP effect. So because it increases GLP, it has a uh, natural effect to decrease satiety, and therefore uh, the, the, the glycemic index tends to be lower, and that may be a real benefit. 
So those are five ways in which you can hack the incretin hormones to your benefit. Eat more dietary fat, eat more dietary protein, number three, eat fiber, number four, bitter foods, and number five, curcumin.